in this video we are going to look at how to add spirals in civil 3d uh, this is a, a series video in the first video i will tell you how to add a single spiral that means we are adding only one spiral here i have a curve so i am going to add a spiral to this curve with a line that means i am going here you have two options floating line with spiral so we are going to have a spiral with a line so we have two options through point and length this through point and length means the length of line so you can if you know the length of the line you can give the length if you don't know the length of the line you can use through point so it will be better to use this three point of the through point option that that one is very easy to handle so i will go with through point option but you can use a uh, spiral option with length also so i click here so it is asking me select an entity to attach to so i am going to add this spiral to this one so my alignment is going from this side to this side so it is asking what is my spiral length usually this spiral length is coming from a, a geometric design guideline so depending on the speed of the road or speed of the uh, alignment it will give the spiral length in my case i will consider i will give a value as 30 here my spiral length is 30 so it is asking then what is your through point you can see when you are having this line through point we have a tangent line and a, a spiral this this green color area means the spiral it has a it will have a 30 meter length so i will click somewhere here and right click so it i now i have a curve and a spiral curve and a tangent section so if i turn on the labels here you can see here 136.73 166.73 that means this is a 30 meter length spiral so that is how to add a spiral to a curve with the floating line then we will you see how to add a spiral to a line with after a, after a line with a curve so you have to go with this option i use this drop down and i will add this one here floating curve with spiral this time also you have two options length and through point it is same like the earlier version so i here you will have a curve with a spiral starting from an entity that means in this case it start from this line and if you know you need to know the radius of the curve you have to add and you need to know the spiral length also so i will go with this through point option i click here and this is asking me whether we are to attach this one i will attach this to this entity so it is asking radius of the curve let us see the radius of the curve is uh, 60 meters then it is asking what is the spiral length so in here also you have to uh, get this value from a design guideline but i will type some value here uh, as 25 so it is asking whether your curve is going uh, is uh, is uh, greater than or less than 180 that means uh, whether your curve is going like this or going like this uh, most of the cases we are going getting less than 180 option so i will accept less than 180 option and press enter so now it is asking where is my through point so i can click anyway are in my screen according to my requirement to get this and you have to right click to end the command then here also you can see uh, my 25 meter spiral is added and also you if you see this radius here uh, it is 60 meters and spiral length is 25 so that is how to add a simple spiral or single spiral to a curve or a uh, line 
in civil 3d in the next video we will see how to add reverse spirals and compound spirals into civil 3d alignments